Welcome to Lagging Out, the best podcast that you're not watching. Here right now on live on Google Hangouts and YouTube. I'm your host, Funny Guy, here with Chieftain Zombie Killer, a couple of special guests tonight, where we discuss things like video games, the gaming world, uh, all things nerd, computers, uh, superheroes, you name it. Whatever so, uh, we talk like. about it. <laughs> yeah. Whatever Funny Guy feels like throwing in in the last second. <laughs> <laughs> Improv. Improv. There you go. <laughs> Believe it or not, folks, we actually do have a real sponsor. Um, why? <laughs> why we don't know. We're still trying to figure that out. But uh, we want to always give a shout out to our main sponsor. Been with us since day one, actually. So we want to thank them. Uh, gamer gloves. If you want to play with uh, like the pros, you should get yourself a pair of gamer gloves to play like the pros. Keep your hands from getting all sweaty, stuff like that. Uh, you can save 15% on your next pair. Go to thegamergloves.com, use the coupon code lagging out, order your next pair of gamer gloves. Chief, in your turn. F you on postingit.com, the only social media outlet where you can post whatever you want without censorship. Check out F you on postingit.com today. Fierce gaming females, they squirt all gamers on all platforms. Like their Facebook fan page today at Fierce Gaming Females. Or you can join the group page at Fierce Gaming Females. Hot chicks with sticks. Nice. You approve, funny guy? Uh, I was better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. Every uh, week she shows significant improvement in that read. Yes, yes. So uh, you're watching Lagging Out by Gamer Nerds for Gamer Nerds, I guess. I guess that would be like a subculture of people that like all the shit that we like. Wouldn't I won't say? even call it a subculture anymore, funny guy, because since eh, I think it still it's still sort of is. I, I think I think there's a large group of people now that I, I would call it a culture. I don't think, I don't think I don't think it's considered a counter culture counter culture anymore. Millions of people going to San Diego Comic Con and all these cons all over. I went I even went to one. I didn't dress up, thank God. I just for that no one wants to see me dressed up as She Ra. So I mean I'm not gonna do that but here, I do teach I got, car. I got a Riddler costume I could rock, but I have to get a mask for it. There is a photo out there as me dressed up as Jim Carrey's uh, Riddler in tights. I think one no, person I'm, owns it. I'm not a tights Riddler. I'm more like a uh, post-apocalyptic Riddler. Oh, okay. Got you. Like, you're like a... Yeah. Um, like a work. I wish I would have had some purple suspenders to go with the shirt and the vest. You're like, like, you're like Comic 52 Riddler. Or the new 52. I, I don't know. It would be my interpretation of the Riddler because I don't look good in tights. So. Well, not all of us can. <laughs> you think we'd look good in tights? I don't know. I think I've actually seen the picture Chief was talking about. That would be impossible. No, I think he's talking about. I think she's talking about the one in the bikini or some. some <laughs> oh yeah, that may be the one she saw. Well, that was pretty funny. We could be. We could do men in tights. Like Robin Hood men in tights. <laughs> I had to be so Pinocchio one like year for party. Halloween and wear pantyhose and hated it. I don't know how you wouldn't do it. <laughs> so I'd be glad you're going to dress up like that, right? Any excuse that I could wear tights, I'm going to do it. No, I had to wear tights, and there was I had to wear this big paper mache Pinocchio head. and I was supposed to be able to see out of the mouth, but the, the eye holes were drilled too high, so I spent the whole night like walking into shit. <laughs> so eventually... <laughs> Before yes. I get into this, I want to say this doesn't just happen at Comic-Con. I've been to events such as SEMA, E3, and, and numerous other types of events where uh, I guess you could say we have what are called booth babes. Now, I know this doesn't necessarily pertain to booth babes, but it's all along the same lines. And it's something that's been going on. I think it's interesting now, though, it's finally coming into the public eye, uh, yeah. which is, you know, apparently there's sexual harassment going on at Comic-Con. It's a common issue. Uh, at the San Diego Comic Con, supposedly uh, they have strict uh, policies on harassment. We've been sent a copy uh, of the rules to ticket holders. Uh, so Adrian know. Curry had defended a friend of hers who was attacked by one ticket holder who didn't think the rules applied to them. According to the articles about uh, the situation, they say that Adrian had 
to chase the guy down and beat him with her whip from her Catwoman costume. Is that true or is that not true? Was I that don't know. That is true later. Was that proven untrue I, later? I don't know. No, that was a totally separate. That was that was the one that thought that um, the girl had been like beat up or whatever. They found her unconscious. And she said she fell. Yeah. She fell. Yes, I saw that. I saw that later. This is not the same story, correct? This one, Adrian okay. is. Um, she was one of America's Next Top Models. Oh, gotcha. So her oh, okay. friend, I so guess I the guy watch. came up and like stuck his hands down her pants and like pulled him down. The, the friend. So Adrian apparently took off after him and beat the living crap out of him. Good. Well, good for her. Uh, yeah, this is nothing new. We, the women that do stuff, women at these shows who are dressed in these costumes a lot of times, and believe me, they have, we call them, they're commonly known in the industry as booth babes a lot of times. Um, although we're, of course, talk, we're talking about cosplayers who do show up at these events, but either way you hack it, it's still been going on. I, I believe, at least it was my understanding, it's even one of the reasons why E3 is no longer really open to the public. Part of it was money, but the other part of it was there were too many people coming in from the public and harassing the, the cosplay players that were showing up at E3, but not just that, but harassing the women in the booths, you know, who are dressed as the players and the, the characters in the games. And things. So... Do we I think it's a problem? That. Yes, I think it's a problem, but I think it's a problem at more than just San Diego Comic Con. I'm glad that maybe it took something like this to bring it into the public eye, but it's something right. that has been going on for quite some time. When it comes to you these people who make not. their own costumes, I look, number one, first and foremost, I look at the costume creation as an art. There are people that it are skilled art. at arts and crafts and making things, and it's very difficult to do. I have a friend who's very, very good at it. Um, actually two friends that are very adept, probably a few more than that. I personally am not that creative. I'm more creative on a different type of uh, medium, if you will. Zombie, how do you feel about that? Um, absolutely. It doesn't matter if they're fully clothed or pretty much naked. Why touch them? Right. Robbie, have you ever experienced anything? Everybody welcome Robbie D. She's actually sitting in. She's one of our cosplayers. We're going to be interviewing in another segment. And I'm sure she has something to say about this. But um, was that, um, how do you feel about this? The cosplay is not consent. Movement has been a like has been in the public eye now like really, really heavily for the past like few months. And now with this whole these two incidences with San Diego Comic Con. It's like, okay, now now it's a thing. Now now people are really starting to take notice and know that the behavior of you know, these people that yeah, okay, I might be in little more than a bathing suit, but that doesn't mean that you can touch me inappropriately. Yes, I will stand and take pictures with you all day. I am uh, that's why I'm there. I am there for you know, your entertainment, I guess, uh, you know, your pleasure, but that doesn't mean that you need to add, you know, act like a animal. I don't know why anyone would want to touch anyone out of a con. If you ever been to a con and people are <laughs> dressed up in all these things, there is a certain odor at conventions that doesn't want to make you touch anybody. That they depends on the to... costume. I think I think if you're comparing somebody dressed as a Wookiee to somebody dressed as uh, I don't know poison ivy, yeah, there's probably going to be some issues between the two. What bothers me? <laughs> is that... the air is green. <laughs> what bothers me about it is that it, it's it's a few bad people making all guys look bad at these events. I mean, yeah, um, absolutely. It, it kind of concerns me, you know. I I very much admire somebody who's a, a well has a really good costume that does cosplay, male or female. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, it matters to me. I want to see all the pretty girls dressed up. It, unfortunately, I think when you have that element, and then you have. And sad to say, let's be realistic, you have people probably, you know, boys as young as 12 and up in age at these events, you know, somebody's going to be not mature, sadly. And it's, you know, it's just kind of, I guess, how it goes. But I'm glad that it's now being, it's, there's a notice about it and that uh, organizations who put on events are trying to be more conscious of it. Did you read Robbie's intro or no? I did not read Robbie's intro. She's been gaming since she could walk and talk. Her favorite types of games are FPS and button mashing goodness of fighting games. 
a la Dead or Alive. She's a cosplayer, a fan cool, Xavier's Institute dropout, but above all, a total geek. Please welcome Robbie D. First person shooter, I want to marry you. That's it. First person shooters, yeah, you're on the right show. That's the lagging out applause done in lagging out. That's the name, lagging out. So, welcome, Robbie D. Your official welcome. Has this been a common topic amongst a lot of cosplayers at the events you go to? Yeah, actually, it is. It, it really is, and it's one. Of, I mean, it's the big thing that they're trying to do is is push the cosplay is not consent. Just because I am dressed a certain way, and I might be dressed in a slightly sexual or even overtly sexual manner, that doesn't mean you get to force yourself upon me or my friends or my group. Um, most cosplayers take the stance that we dress up to be there and to be seen and to take pictures. So asking us to come up and touch, you know, to come up and stand next to us and say hi and get a picture taken, that's completely different. But and even I don't even mind when they put, you know, your arm around my shoulder or even around my waist. That's fine. When things start to travel south or start to feel like they're becoming inappropriate, that's when I get uncomfortable and that's when I have to kind of like step away. And it's important to know that just because I'm stepping away doesn't mean I'm being rude. Just because I am dressed, you know, sexually doesn't mean that I'm necessarily a sexual person. I have the opposite problem. I have cosplayers touching me inappropriately and I don't have an issue with that at all. That's more of an Xbox. You notice I dipped out of the camera on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie Killer does it all the time. She sexually harasses me off camera all the time with her little texts and stuff like that that I can't mention on the show. So she's got to stop that. Stop that. You're, in, you're an engaged woman. I can't do that no more, Zombie. I know you can't resist me. But how, how do you know it was really me? Oh, it's good. <laughs> so I want, what I want to know from Robbie is what characters do you like dressing up as? I assume there's more than one character. Yeah, oh, yeah. Definitely. That you like to do different renditions of, because that's the kind of two kind of. There seems to be two kind of cosplayers out there. Cosplayers who have one character that they will do multiple, I guess, if renditions of, and then, or there's people who will do multiple different characters. Which are which would you fall into, and then who do you like to dress up as? Um, there are certain characters that I really really like, like Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy, I love. First, so any incarnation of Poison Ivy I can do, all I will probably end up doing. So classic Bruce Tim style, um, you know the um, the newer Arkham Asylum. Uh, you know, I've actually one of my first cosplays was based on a um, a piece by artist Abe Lopez. He did a mashup of um, the paintings that are in the Haunted Mansion at Disney World. Uh -huh. And um, the villains and Batman, so nice. it was really, really, really cool. So one of my first cosplays is actually a um, her Poison Ivy in that piece, and I got to meet him, and he, he actually did like a custom sketch for me. I have two pages of cosplays for Phoenix Comic Con, my hometown. I'm actually um, doing Lucia, St. Lucia from the Trials of St. Lucia of the downloadable content from um, Dante's Inferno. I would gladly give up um, Christmas for another Halloween. Well, thanks for being on the show, for giving that up. So, uh, everyone, thank Robbie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you, you know, let's just switch gears a little bit and go towards gaming. Um, what are your favorite first person shooters? I play a lot of Call of Duty. I feel, I mean, that's probably like my go-to. Um, I okay, have played Battlefield, that. Modern Warfare. Um, I played. God, I there's tons, and I've just I just kind of run out of time. Ridiculously bad at Halo. Welcome I to the club. Bad. I want to be good at it so bad. I want to play it because it's pretty and. It's just awesome, and it's fun because it's pretty. I've never heard anybody say that. That's the reason. I, I like all the purples and the. <laughs> yeah. It's relaxing. Yes, indeed. It is but a relaxing yeah, world, the multiplayer world. Actually, it's very cool, from what I remember. You ever yeah, played the Destiny beta? I didn't. I want to, but you I just. 
I I want to so bad. It's, it looks amazing, and I keep like, oh, should I do it? Should I do it? And then I'm like, yeah, but I have to make a gig for tomorrow. If you like Halo and you like Call of Duty, it's a good marriage between the two because you have the jumping ability for Halo, and then you have like uh, the game types from Call of Duty put together. And I think it's time we do a little station identification real quick, don't you? Um, go right ahead, and I'll do. I'll do well, another ball. I have a question watching. first before we get into okay. it. Okay. So, would if we did a play, what characters would you guys be? You talking to me? Yeah. If I was gonna do what now? If you were gonna do what now? Do what now? Oh. Uh, <laughs> you got the, the Aqua Teen reference, man. Uh, I'm not a real muscular dude, so anything no. with tight is pretty much out. So that rolls out Superman, Batman. All uh, just the guys from Red versus Blue. I would go like for me, I could Those probably get away with. With uh, the Riddler, if you're talking about versatility, because I think you could do many interpretations of him, and I already have a Riddler costume. I would say maybe I could get away with a Joker, too. Uh, it depends. I, I kind of think uh, I could definitely, if I wanted to do Star Wars, you could put a Stormtrooper costume on me. I'd be a short Stormtrooper, but I could pull that off. Yeah, you could be like Bruce Skywalker, Stormtrooper type. But if it was something I had to make, I would have to probably go with like the Riddler or the Joker. Um, from the Marvel world... Thanos. I like Marvel, but Marvels they're they're pretty intricate costumes. And I don't know how to cut and sew and I have a friend who knows that there's a certain type of press board out there that when you heat it, you can mold it and then it'll stay in that mold and it's like it's like a rock when it's done. Big mistake. I, I don't know, question. You never I, get I don't know what it's a funny guy. Just I don't know the what fucking it's question. Called. Just one cosplay. You don't have to go into this whole friggin' diatribe. <laughs> what? Well, I don't have the yeah. muscles. Well, you know, the DC. I don't. Just pick one. Pick one. Pick one. No, no. <laughs> I'd have to say. What would be your dream one if you didn't have to worry about all that crap? Oh what would God. be the ultimate period and ever solo. for me? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I thought he was going to say, I don't uh, have a body for it, but I'm going to go with Jabba. <laughs> what about you, Chiefin? Oh, that's real easy. Since everyone does Deadpool and everyone knows Deadpool's a ripoff um, of Spider-Man, it's Spider-Man. As far as his personality is concerned, Spider-Man, easy. All I have to do is work out for six weeks and get a skin tight classroom, and I can pull it off because I can get the muscles for it. Or you can even do a Peter Parker. You know, you have it. You have like your glasses, and then you have like the shirt. Peter Parker's not a superhero. Peter Parker is a secret identity. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. All, All right, right. Well, I'm gonna go there. I'll be I'll be Bruce Wayne. How about that? I'll put a suit on and be Bruce Wayne. You could be Bruce Wayne, yeah. And, it, and if that doesn't people work, people I'll, uh, I'll say I'm Donald Trump. <laughs> I mean, people would think you're James Bond. Because <laughs> you, well, I could be any of them. <laughs> uh, I'm James Bond, running through steel. I mean, he should be Jaws because he doesn't shut up for more than five minutes. <laughs> Jaws had metal in his mouth. I did not get the correlation. Jaw. You should be trap jaw. Oh. <laughs> I was Tony Montana one year. <laughs> except, except I, I said I was because I'm Jewish. I don't want to know. Because I'm Jewish, I said I said instead instead of being Tony Montana, I was Tony Manischewitz. <laughs> And, and if you didn't have my drug money, I wouldn't kill you, but I'd nag you for a long time about it. <laughs> oh, my God. If you're still watching our show, check out one of our sponsors, Revolver Gaming. I claim that they don't know what our show I is. Tell them what our show is. Strong first. and unique among the thousands of clans and mundane and weak. Check out Revolver Gaming today, and you are watching Lagging Out. Also you can check follow out. us on Twitter at lagging out, YouTube.com slash lagging out. Just shut up. Just shut up. Right now, I'm trying to do my Instagram read. at lagging out. I'm sorry, it's lagging out show. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Give me some oomph. Give me some oomph in your read here. How do we not have paid sponsorship? I don't know. Because we can't ever get him out because he interrupts the living shit out of me every time. Just read it. As long as he gets read. I was read. reading it. No, you're not reading it. You're arguing with me right now. 
I'm about to slap the shit out of you right now if I could reach out and touch somebody. <laughs> Zombie killer steps on funny guy. Is he mad? We don't know. Check it out. I'll be in, I'll be in a pair of tights. <laughs> Go ahead, zombie. Do you read? Xbox Box like they are a uh, multi-platform the community. They welcome all gamers except for Funny Guy, regardless of their name, <laughs> except for Funny Guy. <laughs> Check out their group today on Facebook at Xbox 360 Boss Players Group. <laughs> Find a Funny Guy. Funny Guy. Except Funny Guy. Xbox Boss Players has a GTA group, but that. But I know Fine Fun Guy loves GTA, but they're sure. not going to accept I'm funny. laughing so hard, I'm crying, and it's so <laughs> hot in my place. There's another storm system happening in my sunglasses. Oh, you are watching geez. Lagging Out. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest podcast about games. That you're not watching. Um, Who's this? Hello, yes. How come, how, how, how does the King of All Games have Funny Guy's nameplate? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the king of the technical board. I am merely the king of games. For the first <laughs> time ever <laughs> this season. Let me see if my lackey can fix this. Oh, there, there, we, it is. Go. there we go. Everyone is it backwards? Aha. You know? uh-huh. It's right ways. You have, not, you have not fooled me, you, you Google Hangout toolbox. <laughs> well, I am king of all games. Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Okay, can we do this for another hello. hour, please? <laughs> um, this, is like, this is like who's on first. Going on. Either people are typing or somebody's trying to escape out of somebody's place. It's the squirrels trying to get out of your head. Why would there be squirrels in my head? Can we do the lagging out for you, please? Please do. Uh, you do the uh, right now? Give away. Uh, you want to hear it? Uh, this is going to be a two-parter. I've said that said. before. <laughs> <laughs> well, poor Robbie's hi- being hijacked here. He doesn't know what to say. Hey, guess what? I'm on update ten of ten. This computer that I fixed to monitor the show—it's going great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You want me to read it? Yeah, I'm gonna. How do you want it? Watch our show live and or. What the hell? That's a. Who wrote this? Okay, it's a, it's a typo. It's okay. I got it. So here's the deal, folks. We've got the lagging out loot giveaway. You're watching the lagging out. If you want to subscribe to us on YouTube, go to youtubecom out. We post the show a couple of days after the uh, live version. Uh, although right now we're in the midst of some upgrades, so uh, coming very soon we'll be doing a drop of a, quite a few shows, all uh, relatively uh, close in a time span of one another, so you can get caught up. Uh, by watching Lagging Out, what's, uh, what's it bring to you other than like the entertainment and the shenanigans we got going on here? The Lagging Out Loop giveaway. Now, how do you win the prizes that we're offering, and what are we offering? Watch our show live and or wait for the trivia question to pop up on our Facebook page. That's at Facebook.com slash lagging out. Be the first person to answer the question correctly, and you will be entered into a chance to win um, the Lagging Out Loot giveaway, which is brought to you by Gamers Light, Narrate, and Gamer Gloves. Now, what's in the Lagging Out Loot giveaway? There's a lot of stuff, so I'm not going to go through all of it. But we've got an autographed copy of the February Game Informer by the production team for Evolve, which, by the way, their uh, release date was pushed to February of next year. I don't know if you're aware of that. Yeah, uh, yeah. A pair of gamer gloves, uh, an Xbox Live card valued at $49.99. And mind you, we give this out before Christmas time, so make sure you watch the show and answer the question right, because then you got like an extra 50 bucks to spend on Xbox, as well as a South by Southwest autograph lanyard by yours truly and Chieftain. Last show, what we do is we have a trivia question, which we're about to ask, and then we're going to get off the air here, so we want to thank you for watching. Uh, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at Lagging Out, as well. Uh, last show's trivia question was, which bad guy uh, was introduced in Super Mario Bros. 2? Uh, Will K. Uh, was the first person to answer the question correctly. The choices were Koopa Troopa, Lakitu, Shy Guy, or Goomba. The correct answer was C, Shy Guy. It wasn't a Goomba! This week's trivia question... Uh, do you want to read it or do you want me to go yeah. read it? What video game console was the highest number of video game console sales of all time? 
A, Xbox 360, B, Nintendo 64, C, Nintendo Wii, D, PlayStation 2. First person to answer that correctly on our Facebook page this week when the little banner shows up gets a chance to win our lagging out giveaway. And I guess that kind of That's brings it. us to a close here, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, we want to thank our special guest uh, for sitting in with us tonight, Robbie D. Uh, you can find out more about her at facebook.com slash Robbie D. Is it cosplay? Because it's going to cut off here at the bottom of my screen. What is your What is your page on Facebook again? Dot cosplay. It's Robbie D. R-O-B-Y-D-E-E dot cosplay. And that's on Facebook.com, so be sure to check out and go like her page. Also, special guest, uh, special thank you to our sponsors, Gamer Gloves, FU Unposted, Fierce Gaming Females, Revolver Gaming, and we got everybody? Yep, on behalf of Zombie Killer, Funny Guy, Robbie D, Lily Raven, and myself, we would like to wa thank you for watching, lagging out, and until next time, this is Chieftain signing off and lagging out. Now, see, see, we still need to. I, I, it's, I like that read better. You like that read better? I'm glad I got your approval. It wasn't so flamboyant. The last one was like, and I'm lagging out. Like, I don't know. That's because I pretend not to care, and now it sounds better. That <laughs> well, should be the secret, I guess. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. 